Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking rosemary chicken rolls. So let's start cooking. Now we'll prepare a very basic, simple barbecue sauce. Over here I have 4 tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Add in 2 tablespoons of light soya sauce. 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce as well as one and a half tablespoon of honey. Mix them all up and set it aside. Now we will need to score our boneless chicken thigh. I have with me over here four pieces of boneless chicken thigh, approximately 200 to 230 grams each. I'll show you how I score them. Using a knife, lightly just draw a line like this, open it up so that the marinade can go in and it will taste so much better. Just lightly draw a few lines. This will make wrapping them up into rolls much easier also. I'm using boneless chicken thigh with skin on because we need the skin. After we make this into roll and then the skin will brown very beautifully. This will look very pretty and very delicious also. Now we will season and marinate our chicken. Lay them flat on a board like this so that's easier for you to marinate. For the seasonings, we need 2 teaspoons of salt, 1 teaspoon of black pepper, and two teaspoons of rosemary. Mix them up well together. I'm using dried rosemary over here. Of course, if you want to use fresh rosemary, no problem at all. Just mix them up well. After you mix them up well like this, we'll rub this into the chicken. Sprinkle liberally on the chicken. This is a very easy and delicious dish. You can prepare this way in advance before your guests arrive. Very easy to prepare, very delicious. Now we'll rub the seasonings into the chicken. After you're done with the chicken, just brush the barbecue sauce on the flesh side. Leave the skin alone for now. Just need to put the sauce on liberally like this. Once you're done, we'll marinate this for at least 2 hours. I've marinated the chicken overnight and now we're going to roll them into rolls like this. I'll show you how I do this. Prepare a piece of aluminum foil, approximately 30cm by 30cm. Pour a little bit of oil on the aluminum foil, this to prevent the skin from sticking. Rub it all over the aluminum foil. After you're done with this, we'll add in our chicken. Place the chicken skin side down, tucking in all the chicken like this. And then we just roll this. Roll this as tightly as you can. Pushing this to the middle, center line over here, slightly above the center line. Take the foil, press it down tightly like this. And then just roll this tightly. Okay, once you're done, just feel where the chicken end, press it down, compact it a little bit, and twist the ends. Very simple. Once you're done with this, we'll air fry this. Now we begin to air fry our chicken rolls. Add in about one cup of water. This will help to cook the chicken evenly because this is pretty thick. As my air fryer is a little bit small, I'll be cooking this in two batches. Put two of them in first. Close it up. We'll air fry this for 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. I'll see you back in a while. 20 minutes is up. Let's have a look. We'll remove the chicken rolls from the air fryer now. This is not done yet. We'll need to remove the aluminum foil, baste them with the remaining sauce and air fry them again. I'll show you how I do this. Put one aside. Be careful, this is very hot. Use a tongue if possible. Cut off the ends first so they can remove them much easier. So this time round, we are just going to remove them from aluminum foil, baste them with the remaining sauce so that they can brown nicely. Be careful because this is quite hot. Carefully, try not to break too much of the skin because you want to have that perfect, perfect looking crust. Look at how beautiful this is. Slowly. Wow, look at this. I'll open up the other piece and I'll show you the next step. Now put this back to the air fryer, right? Try to place a side that's not so brown up with the remaining sauce. Just mix it up a little bit and just base it over the chicken. Later the crust, or rather the look of this will be very pretty. Just base it generously. After you're done with this, 
We will just set this at 200 degrees Celsius for another 5 minutes and then we are done. I'll see you back in a while. 5 minutes is up, let's have a look. Look at how beautiful this is. You can either serve them this way or you can slice them up. Now that they are done, we'll plate them up and enjoy our meal. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. The fragrance from the rosemary, beautiful. Try this. Mm. Marinade, just nice. You can taste this freshness of the rosemary inside here. This chicken roll is fantastic. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. And now it's your turn to cook. See you. Bye-bye. Very good.